Which brings us to Pittsburgh Sutherland, and perhaps a team for the ages, the Hollywood Knights. Aquinas football. Bishop Carney boys basketball. Pittsburgh Sutherland girls volleyball. Rock stars in the Section 5 sports universe. The Hollywood Knights. Last year, Sutherland had no seniors on the roster and were still good enough to play in the state finals. We were young last year and this year I think we've become a lot more mature as individuals and as a team and I think that can take us a lot farther this year. Of course, without any seniors last year, they graduated no one. Everybody is back. Coach Matt Glover once coached the Penfield boys volleyball team to 108 straight wins. Within its own realm, he thinks this team is better. Uh, we're currently uh, nationally ranked. Uh, we're 60th in the country according to prepvolleyball.com. Um, and uh, who knows, uh, there's a lot of good local teams. Webster's very good, Penfield's very good, Mercy. Um, but we got a bunch of kids here that really work hard and they want to compete. And uh, it's just, uh, it's, you know, they want to be around us. The Knights are taking full advantage of their situation, accepting an invitation to play the tournament in Chicago, featuring some of the top teams in the country. Um, I love it. I love the tournaments for going to Chicago. I can't wait. The number one and two teams in the country are going to be there. And I know we, uh, we're, we might not be at their level necessarily, but I can't wait to just compete with them and play against the best people in the country. Louisa Shermer is one of the standout players in the nation. Has traveled the world as a member of the junior national team. She'll attend the Ohio State University next year on scholarship. More often than not, libero Aaliyah Bolin gets the ball to her. Bolin is a freshman, but already a third-year varsity player and was all state as an eighth grader to boot. They work well together. Um, I think Louisa really challenges me. She pushes me as hard as I can in practice, and all we can do is make each other better. She'll hit hard at me and I'll dig her, and I think it's really great to play with someone at that caliber, and it's only going to make both of us better. Meanwhile, there's a 6'1 junior with a 10-foot-4 touch who thrives in the shadow of the other two. She is Santita Abanguis, whose parents are from Cameroon, an urban-suburban student who's been busing into Pittsburgh from the city since she was in the first grade. He's a late cover to the game. Seventh grade year, I did basketball, but Glover was the assistant coach, so he said, he said I should do volleyball and like try it out. Why not? So eighth grade year, I started, and I've been playing ever since. Do you like it? I mean, when you compare it with basketball in terms of what you're capable of doing? Um, personally, I think I'm better at volleyball, and I'm glad that I started it because it's opening new doors for me. Santita is what it's really all about. Our, our motto is that you know, volleyball is important, but we, I try to help these kids be better people and better for, for life when they move out of, out of school. And a lot of things we do is uh, the less, life lessons and uh, on and off the court. So we do a lot of things off the court as opposed to on the court that makes us better people and better volleyball players.